And then we're going to do something else. And I have to I have to jump off on a tangent for two minutes. I hope you'll go along with me on this. Does anybody recognize the symbol that just came up on the screen? No? I don't expect you to. Okay. Well, what does it make you think of? Anybody care to venture a guess? What, what, I mean, what, is, what does the symbol look like? Just what is it? Like a flower. Okay. <coughs> flower looks like maybe it's either receiving sunlight or putting off sunlight because it looks like almost rays maybe coming off of the, uh, coming up, breaking the circle there. Okay. What if I told you that that is the international symbol and the symbol that the FDA puts on all food that is irradiated? Okay. Now, I say the FDA puts that on all food that's radiated, but there's a catch with that. Okay? If it's something like apples or something that can't easily be labeled itself, it doesn't have, or a bulk item, it doesn't have to be on the packaging because there is no packaging. It just has to be somewhere nearby. And then to make it even worse, make it even more concealed, if it's on a processed food item, like say, for example, you went and bought some sort of packaged meal, and the corn that was used to make that packaged meal was irradiated, they don't have to label it at all. So if it's a part of an ingredient of another uh, food product, they don't even have to label it at all, and you'd never even know. But frankly, if you saw that label, it kind of makes you want to buy it. Oh, that looks good. That must, <laughs> that must do something else. So, let me, on my tangent here, let me ask you that, uh, well, first off, the FDA explains on their website just how safe it is to use a radiation as a way to uh, make sure that your food is not contaminated. And they explain that irradiation includes treatments like gamma rays, x-rays, and electron beams. That sounds good. Let's all get some of that. If you went into a hospital and went to the x-ray department, what kind of sign would you expect to see there? We're talking about x-rays. Would they show you this sign? No, it would be some kind of dangerous sign. Looks a little something more like that, doesn't it? That kind of makes you think, there's trouble. <laughs> okay? We might not know that that means radiation, but if you saw that sign, you would at least know that that's, that's some sort of danger to you, isn't it? Okay. Well, if that's not enough, because some people might not know what that is, I want to show you something that the United Nations is doing. There's a new symbol that has been out, uh, just developed for radiation areas. And it looks like that. Okay? <clears throat> the interesting thing about it is, uh, well, it seems pretty easy to understand, doesn't it? There is something with pointy, wavy arrows shooting at us that is going to kill us. Therefore, we need to run away. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty simple, isn't it? <laughs> Here, this is how simple it is. This is the quote off the United Nations website. The symbol is the result of a five-year project conducted in 11 countries and was tested with different population groups, mixed ages, varying educational backgrounds, male and female, to ensure that its message, danger, stay away, was crystal clear and understood by all. But we're just going to put a little pretty flower symbol to let you know that your food was irradiated. Okay? There's my two-minute tangent on that. It has nothing to do with CSAs other than the fact that with a CSA, you're probably not going to have irradiated food. 